this uh, <laughs> crying blood. <laughs> it's a little weird. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Okay, well it is a little bit later in the day. I got an extra late start today. So it is actually three o'clock, but I am here now at the Goodwill. We are about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, I started with the red section for some reason today. I don't normally, but I guess today's a red day. This is super cool. Oh, and it's glass. How much, is $10. I guess that's probably why it's still here. I mean, I'm not opposed to paying $10 for that. Looks to be in okay condition. Dagny's not here to fun sponge me today, so I have to fun sponge myself. <laughs> um, I don't see any chips or cracks. Of course, it's all taped together, so we may be in for a surprise later. This is a strange looking art pottery vase. November 1st, right? November 2nd. That's so wacky looking. They've got $3.99 on that. I don't know, there's probably a little bit of profit there, but not a whole lot. This is second Avon anniversary. It's a little teapot, that's kind of cute. Of course the sticker is right over the marking. Let's see if, nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> How I break my nails. It's a little, uh, I think these are Sebastian miniatures. We've had these before. They haven't done the greatest luck for us. The ones I've noticed that sell pretty decent are the um, nursery rhyme ones and I think the Christmas ones. I think if I remember correctly, when I looked up comps, those were the ones that you want to be on the lookout for. That has a chip on it. Well, that's kind of a cute teapot. It's got the bunny on it. I'm like looking for the chip on the spout. There was always a chip on the spout. So this is uh, made in Portugal. I actually, um, I might grab that. How much is it, $2.99? I know it has a Marshalls tag on there. My mom loves this stuff. Uh, if she's not into it, I will list it on eBay. But it's got the little bunnies on it and everything. Oh, little candle, no. <laughs> I really like this canister over here. It's got a rubber uh, gasket. Oh my gosh, we have to get over there to get that. As soon as I'm done looking at this. Kathy Dan's Happiness, originally $29.99. I like the colors of that. It's only $4.99, let's grab it. And we're gonna grab this, because it's matchy match. Making sure I don't miss any of that bunny stuff as I'm speeding through here. I like this. This is probably contemporary. Another Marshalls uh, or TJ Maxx. $9.99 was their price on it, but that's a beautiful decorative piece. It's contemporary, but I love the green. I usually find them in blue. I like the looks of that plate. Countryside Stoneware Collection. I wonder if it's the same as those ones down there, only a different color. And then this. I think it's made to look kind of like a Sasha brass stuff. I don't think that it is. And oh, it's Italy. Yes, it is. I'm like, it looks Italy. It is Italy. I'm not sure what's going on here with these. Um, oh, they're for bagels. Oh, that's so cool. It's a bagel tray, and then you like hoop your bagels onto the little sticks. There's a little bit of a chip there, but that is so neat. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think it belongs in our cart. Oh, that's milk glass. I actually thought that was pottery at first. What does it say on the bottom? Mm, I can't really read it. Brody Company something something. I'm not sure. This is kind of funky looking. Okay. I like the pattern on that. Here's a little restaurant where Shenango, China. The other one I was noticing as I was coming down the aisle was this. It's $2.99, but you can see there where the color has uh, worn off of that. So, it's 
it's not actually gray, it's added to the outside. There's a sweet little <laughs> cow creamer, Japan. They've got $1.99 on it. I mean, that's probably an $8 to $10 item. Occasionally I'll pick them up, but I think I'm gonna leave them here today for somebody else. I love the looks of this. It's probably like a dog bed or something, but <laughs> it just looks really neat and boho. There's a bunch of blue willow. This is Maruta China, made in occupied Japan. I picked up a bunch of these the other day, but they were actually um, the English versions. There's a whole dish. I think something's missing there though. Okay, this is a that's kind of a frosted, looks like an ice bucket. Oh look, there's a whole set of uh, grill plates down here. Or no, never mind, it's just one grill plate. This one is uh, made in England. But there are some condition issues with the chips and the cracks. It's an older piece. It's called a grill plate because it has these multiple sections. I like the pattern of those. It's kind of 1980s Studio Nova, of course. False graph. Of course it's a false graph. Alright. That's kind of a pretty glass bottle. Ooh, more art pottery. I realized the other day after all that art pottery I picked up, um, a few of those pieces were actually really good when I got around to researching them. Some were by Bill Campbell, and I don't always immediately recognize his signature because it's very scribbly, but um, he's a really good name to look for. So. Uh, we ended up making some good money on the art pottery we got the other day. So if I see art pottery here today, I'm probably going to pick it up. It's like it could be made in Mexico. What is that? And a co-creation's made in China. But you can see he's got a huge crack around his face. <laughs> this is funny. Somebody put these two together. I don't think it was intended that way. Okay. I thought maybe this was another of the art pottery pieces, however, it's not. Here's a art, oh, a hobbyist piece. Mushrooms, but it's painted all blue. Ooh, what is this? That's beautiful. Wow. It kind of reminds me of the Israeli glass. But it's a satin milk glass, and look at the design of that, that's gorgeous. Wow, I was so worried we were late today and we weren't going to find anything. I was really bummed out, and uh, it's turning into a really good day. <laughs> wow. I guess I missed this satin glass bowl for $1.99. Yeah, if it had the candlesticks, maybe I'd grab it, but I think I'm going to leave it since it's all by its lonesome. This is a pretty art glass vase. Look, it's another TJ Maxx piece. <laughs> I wonder if um, they did a buyout of TJ Maxx or uh, Marshalls. How much is it? It's $3.99. So obviously this is not made in Murano or anything like that. It's, uh, its value is basically essentially in being a vase. So for $3.99, I'm thinking it's probably 18, 18 to 24 on that. I'm kind of curious what the original asking price was. I think we're going to grab it. Yes, I'd prefer to find Murano, but I'll take what I can get at the thrift store. What do we have here? It's a pot, but it has a crack in the bottom that is pretty severe. It might work for a flower pot, though, because it, always, it already has the drainage. Since I kind of rushed through the green section um, to get over to that bagel thingy, I think I'm going to browse through here again. And make sure that I didn't miss any of that, um, that bunny stuff. What do we have down here? It's very similar, but it's turkeys. What is this? It's the same deal. Made in Portugal. TJ Maxx. $2.99. $2.99 for four plates. Let's check them for chips and cracks. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll grab those as well. Here we have an antique uh, potter. What is this one marked? $3.99. Gosh, it's a transfer. I feel like if it was painted, I might be more about it. You know, though, this is something we could put in our booth and make a few bucks on. So 
will take that along too. Should probably put my child flap up so all of you don't don't have a heart attack. I'm gonna fix it right now. That's a pretty um, antique lampshade. Three ninety nine on that. I don't see a whole lot of like there is value there. I know there is. Um, and in my mind, I'm thinking all of the light fixtures in our new house are 1920s. And if we were to break one, this would be a good replacement. But it's only a single. And it, it, we'd need the matchy-matchy. So I'm going to leave that. I fixed it. <laughs> you don't have to worry. Oh, wow. I feel like this is uh, the thickness I'm looking for. But that's not it. Whoa, look at this. There's no chips or cracks on that. That's really pretty. We better rescue that before it gets chips and cracks on it. Well, I was looking through the aisle from the other side. I noticed something down here. Here it is. It's this ginger jar. I didn't notice it because it was hidden behind stuff. It's a shame. It looks like the lid is broken, but half the times I find them, they don't even have lids. People just uh, sell them as vases. But I think, uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of value in that even with its uh, lid intact. So for $4.99, that's really not worth it to me. Mm. That just doesn't strike me as having very good quality. This poor bunny <laughs> needs a bath. That's $2.99. And there's a vase back here, probably Japan, for $2.99. I just noticed these two creep in there. Those are great. Um, holly and berries, $1.99 each. Those are great for Christmas. Stick them in there. Okay, so I think this is uh, one of the last aisles I have to check. I kind of breezed through everything and I am going to have to go back and uh, slow down a little bit and see what I missed because this was just cherry picking uh, what I could grab. <laughs> Here's a serving piece. What's that? Oh, there's a giant chip out of it so that's not going to enter us any good but what is this underneath it that's pretty Italian uh, USA Stangle wow it's kind of a different uh, pattern for Stangle I'm not familiar with that one I kind of like the looks of this pottery piece I'm surprised there's no signatures on that there's no prices either but they usually charge about two or three bucks at the checkout for pieces that aren't priced We'll add that in here. And then let's check out the shelf. There's uh, some yellow depression glass down there. This uh, <laughs> it's crying blood. <laughs> it's a little weird. <laughs> Everything in here today is TJ Maxx. That's crazy. I like that. It's vintage, but there's a lot of condition issues on that with chips and cracks. like the eagles are still here. I feel like they must have come off something because otherwise they don't sit on their own. What is this up here? Kind of a Grecian design. Wow, look at the inside of that mug though. Ooh, wouldn't want to drink coffee out of that. There's a few little cows up here. They are salt and pepper shakers. They look vintage, but nah, they're missing their corks. And Sandy Russell. There's a few of these. They almost look like recycled paper. The frames are in pretty rough shape. They'd have to be touched up. Is that, yeah, Sandy Russell. There's three of them. Made in Thailand. Could just be, I don't know. There's a, another one back here. $2.99. I might take a moment and look up Sandy Russell. I found a few Sandy Russell um, artworks listed here on eBay, but this one is just completely flat, whereas these ones are three-dimensional. So they're asking $30, $65 for that, $14.99 for this, but same case, it's just completely uh, one-dimensional. So up here, there's a set of four. Those look more like these, and they're asking $50. The reason I'm showing you asking prices is because I could not find any sold. Um, so, I think 
I could probably get about 10 bucks a piece out of those as a set. I think there's probably one missing. It looks like others are um, sets of four, but I'm okay with that. Kay. I'm not sure who Kay is. Noritake. I liked the bird on that. This is kind of cute. I love the little girl with the bird. They're just uh, silhouettes of people. There's two of them. Hmm. Product of Reliable Newark, New Jersey. Silhouettes. That's all it's called. <laughs> $1.99. There are two of them. I don't think I'm going to mess with those though. Uh, 12 Days of Christmas Cookie Cutter Set. That looks like it's vintage. Hmm, I might uh, see if they're in there. are really cool. I like that. We have a tradition of uh, decorating cookies before Christmas uh, with my sister and my mom. So maybe I will, um, that will be my contribution to Christmas cookie making. My sister makes the dough and the icing and I'll bring the cookie cutters. <laughs> what is that? 2004 they signed artwork. Oh, and then the sun comes out. Fujiko Isomura. Dutch metal. Silver and copper leaf. Hmm. I really, I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't usually pick up a uh, Disneyana. I'm assuming that's what this would be considered. Here are some glasses down on the bottom shelf. Yeah, unfortunately, those are actually um, supposed to have a design on that clear upper half <laughs> coin that you can see there's some remnants there of gold uh, but those are really worn oh look at that oh my goodness that is a lampshade that is crazy it is signed too i don't see the lamp anywhere that it goes with that's crazy oh and i'm looking right at a, gi a giant repair right there that's such a bummer Kind of a nasty repair too. That's just really cool. I've never seen a lampshade like that before. It's got a, almost a sandy texture, but I think for, because of the damage, um, I'm not going to mess with it. Here reminds me of a West Elm piece, so I'm gonna at least turn that over and give it a look. I don't see anything there on the bottom. It's a little lounge fly backpack. I've bought and sold those before. Um, it does look like there's quite a bit of wear on those, though. I don't know if that would be... Hmm. I think... I think maybe I'll leave it because of all the, the dirt and grime on there. Yes, I could clean it, but I just don't have the time in my busy schedule to devote to cleaning that bag. And I'm sure someone else does. Flamingos. I wasn't expecting a whole lot after we got here a little bit later than normal, but it looks like we got here at just the right time because I got some really great stuff today and I'm pretty pleased with it. So I think I'm gonna head out to the checkout now and I will uh, get back to you guys in the car. Okay, well I was a little bummed today that I got such a late start and I really wasn't expecting much at all. <laughs> like I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna put on my happy face and it's gonna be a great day. And I think we got there at just the right time. I don't think there was any bad timing involved today, even though in my head I was like, I totally messed up. Um, so we got some really great stuff today. I'm very excited about the picture set, um, that print with Mickey Mouse. We've got some, some great, and the bagel thing. I had never seen that before. I think that's the coolest. Um, but I think we're going to get out of here now. I'm going to head on down the road, and I'm going to hit up another Goodwill. So I will see all of you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.